Hey guys, Nick here, and in this video, we are going to check out a mini map that I built with the UI toolkit in Unity 2021.3. So let's start this up and check it out. All right, so we are in the uh, the project running it now, and we can see we have a functioning mini map that uh, displays the elements in our game world, and we even see here a ship. I just showed up on the mini map. That's this guy right here. That's uh, we can focus on, and he is heading towards the sun. And you can see the mini map has updated to center around whatever we are focused on. So that is pretty cool. You can see here we can rotate around this. We can orient ourselves pretty well using the uh, the mini map there. So I think that is a pretty uh successful goal that we achieved for one of the very first kind of things to get going in our game i really wanted to get a mini map going and i figured uh it would be cool to do that with the ui toolkit and see what we can do with it and overall it was pretty simple like um we basically set everything up with the style sheets and then we wrote a little bit of code uh, to make everything uh, work and it was not that uh, that crazy so uh, we have our uh, list here of planets and what happens is that uh, the, the planet icons actually get generated at runtime which is pretty cool I think which saved us some uh, work in the uh, the style sheet editor so let's open this up and this is the basic style sheet for our uh, mini map and you can see uh, pretty much a representation of what it looked like when we were running the game. And we also have this uh, planet container style sheet, which is the template that we use to cr create the uh, planet icons. If you can see here, we loaded the style sheet so we can actually see the representation of the, uh, the planet icon here. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's, uh, bring this over and this is basically the code to make all of this happen um it's not that complicated if you go through the ui toolkit documentation you should be able to understand how everything works um it's uh, it does a pretty good job of explaining everything and having examples of how to do everything and over here is where we are actually uh generating these uh planet icons at runtime so that's kind of the logic there that i use just simple just to get it working nothing fancy and uh, some uh, input system stuff here uh, this allows us to toggle between the player or the uh, free look camera and then down here is basically we do this in late update just to make sure it happens after everything else does and we just kind of um, rescale the position of all the elements that we want to follow on the minimap and if they fall within a threshold to show up on the minimap uh, we change their positions the icons we display them and uh, change the positions to show up in the correct locations on the minimap so that's kind of basically it we have a uh, minimap rotation here which uh, follows our camera and yeah, and over here is the uh, player logic, which moves the player around. And up here, uh, we determine uh, what uh, what we're going to use as our references and things like that, depending on settings. So, uh, yeah, you can pause this uh, video, check out the, uh, the code to see how it ticks. But I'm not really going to go into full detail explaining it but that's it uh just a little example of uh what you can achieve with ui toolkit which is pretty cool and uh so far this is what i have here we just have this basic main menu let's just save this up we can click here uh nothing happens here when we click this but when we start the game we get a loading bar and then we dive right into the game. So that's uh, pretty awesome and really, really easy to set up with UI Toolkit. So I definitely recommend checking out UI Toolkit if you're looking to set up some uh, UI stuff for your project. It's uh, really neat. And if you've worked with style sheets before or for like web dev 
uh, should be pretty natural to dive into and get going. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, I will see you in one another video some other day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Subscribe.